is happy news right from the start. The Queen Mary is to have a successor, a little smaller but worthy of the grand old lady of the Atlantic. To John Brown Shipyard, it means a very happy new year. Work for 5,000 men for three years. 58,000 tons, as against the Queen Mary's 81,000, the new liner will nevertheless carry 2,000 passengers, and drawing only 31 feet of water, she'll be able to get in and out of Southampton at any state of the time. Still, it won't be easy to succeed the grand old Queen. For Donald Campbell, a happy new year indeed. With only a few hours to go, he raised his own world water speed record by 16 miles an hour. This is Lake Coniston, 1959, with Campbell setting the old record. The new triumph was at Lake Dumble Young, Australia. And again, his wife Tonya and his old friend, Chief Mechanic Leo Villa, were there to congratulate him. The land and water records in the same year, stupendous. No time to think about records here. This is deadly serious. The sales. Bargains just waiting to be picked up by any resolute early rising woman. It's every girl for herself and the devil take the hindmost. Why let women have all the bargains? Every woman with her head screwed on the right way can pick up some real bargains and perhaps get them safely home. Round at the Palladium, Cliff Richard and the Shadows look set for a wonderful year, starting off with Cliff playing Aladdin in the panto there. We went to a little New Year's Eve party in the star's dressing room. When the panto's over, Cliff and the Shadows will make another smash hit film. There was a typical Tin Pan Alley party at Peter Maurice's. Typical because these people never stop thinking about the hit parade and what'll make it, even when you'd think they were away from it all. What will be the hit tune of early 65? It could be I Cry Alone. Yes, it needs to be more sort of... What's going to try the intro? I can't yes. explain it. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Say, yes. Let me try this. Just a minute. Let's see this. Tin Pan Alley, South Westwards to the Albert Hall, with the People's Ball in full swing. There's very little left of the old year now. <laughs> Film star Ron Fraser and partner. Obviously happy and well nourished, Peter Newell. Time soon for the beach party contest, devised by ABC Cinemas. The lucky girl will get a glorious trip to Hollywood and be in a film there. But never mind, boys, the rest will stay at home. The winner's sash was presented by Rupert Davies to lovely Rosemary Williams. It certainly looks like a marvellous year for Rosemary. Jesse Matthews is in this group. So is the one and only Margaret Rutherford. Richard Hearn trying to woo Rupert Davies from his Inspector Maygrave pipe. Nothing doing. I beetled round and found myself with music impresario Brian Epstein. Well, 1964 was a highly successful year for you, Mr. Epstein. What is your prediction for 1965? 
Well, I certainly think that some of the groups who've been successful in the past are going to continue to ride very high indeed. I personally expect to see the emergence of one or two uh, solo balladeering type of artists. I think the, there's going to be uh, an injection of folk music. And uh, in general, I think that the music scene will be as lively as it has been. I hope so, anyway. Midnight and the new year is born. Obviously good for some hours yet at the People's Ball, so over to Trafalgar Square. It's cheaper outside and what super facilities for cooling down. A happy new year to the law, starting off with a watching brief here to see that we didn't go too far. It wouldn't be New Year's Eve without a few arrests, just to give the magistrates a good start on New Year's Day. On the whole, a harmless way of having a good time. Perhaps they got dry clothes at the station. Anyway, to everybody, all the best for 1965.